I definitely didn't want to start the vlog off like this. I just got done with my workout and so my dog is getting neutered today and I have like, I'm being very vulnerable right now, crying on camera, but I just cannot help myself. Um, so whenever he was like a month old, he got attacked and had to get like two surgeries done on his face and he's fine. Like he's almost three and he's like, he's so healthy and lives the best life, but He's getting neutered today and they have to put him under anesthesia and it just makes me so nervous and he's going to be going all day from like 7 to 4 30 and my husband is dropping him off right now. It just like makes me so sad like I don't know I just always think of like the worst like if anything happened to him I honestly don't know what I would do and this girl Wesley Ann if you're watching this um She's another YouTuber and I just watched her YouTube video yesterday while I was working, while I was working out and her dog was getting his teeth cleaned and she cried and I'm like, I completely felt her pain or not pain. I just like could feel her like I can understand her hundred percent. And if you have a dog, like you probably understand this or if you do and you don't cry, I'm just a baby and he's like my actual human child. Like he's not a dog to me. Like he's like... Like, if you have a kid, like, that's how... I don't have a kid, so obviously I can't fully relate to this, but that's just, like, how I... F like, f the same feeling. Um, and I feel like I have, like, trauma just from when he had surgery as a puppy, like, two times, and he went under anesthesia, and, like, obviously we hope for the best and pray, like, I have faith that it's always... It's all gonna be fun. It's all gonna work out, but it just makes me nervous and he's literally my child and you never want anything bad to happen to your child so yeah just so emotional this morning and 7 22 and I was gonna go to the office today um, which I honestly still want to go because I just don't know if I want to be home and him not being there because he's like my little work buddy gosh I can't keep myself together <sighs> anyways um I know it's fine um it's gonna be good and I've prayed I like touched him this morning and prayed over him and just keeping him safe and he has good recovery and um all of that so oh my god this guy's looking at me and I'm crying that's so awkward okay um yeah he's watching that is so awkward okay anyways it's fine <laughs> um but I didn't want to film this but I just feel like like just showing real life and how 
it is and it's obviously not like perfect and obviously I don't ever want my vlogs to come off that I love this perfect life because I definitely do not. So that's why I wanted to film this. Um, thankfully I had my camera with me because I would have just filmed on my phone. But anyways, I feel so awkward because this guy is literally staring at me and I'm crying and filming and he's probably like, what is this girl doing? But, okay, let me take a breather because I'm like, I need to take a chill pill for a sec. Anyways, that's all I wanted to say. Good morning. It is Tuesday. I honestly forgot what day it was because my brain is so scatterbrained right now. Um, <laughs> but I'm still going to make it to the office. Um... If you are new here, my name is Selena. I work in IT consulting as a senior technical recruiter. I guess IT staffing, I honestly get it mixed up because I moved from my consulting firm to the staffing firm I'm at right now. Um, I'm a fully remote employee, but every like once a month, I live in Dallas, Texas, and we have an office in Dallas, and once a month we meet together. It's not required, like my whole team is not here. Like I'm the only person in Dallas for my team. So I don't have to go, but I feel like it's good just to get away. And today, since my dog's not going to be home, I just kind of didn't want to honestly be working from home at all. I just wanted to go there and I can go and get there whenever. Um, I was going to plan on getting there at 8.30, but I'm already honestly running a little behind this morning. So I might get there around like 9. I'm not really sure, but I have to go pick my dog up after his appointment, which is probably going to be like 45 minutes away. So I'm going to leave work early. He needs to be picked up by 4.30. So yeah, I'm going to head home get ready real quick I'm not honestly gonna do much I was gonna put some makeup on but I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I might cry at the office just thinking about it but we're gonna stay strong today it's gonna be good and I'm gonna pick him up later and it's gonna be fine I'm just gonna be filming one day I have been filming more like work week vlogs and I actually posted one today so definitely check that out but I'm just gonna do a full day of like my morning up until nighttime of just like a work day in my life in the office because I never go to the office so I was like this is perfect for me to film didn't think my vlog was going to start out like this this morning but this is just thrill me and <laughs> I'm not ashamed of posting myself crying online but yeah hope you guys enjoy this vlog let me know if you have any questions below um I appreciate every comment that anyone leaves it just feels like I'm connecting more to you guys so definitely comment I will reply to every <laughs> single message but I'm going to head home now, get ready for work, and then head to the office, and I will catch up with you guys later. So there's actually some stuff that I need to get done this morning. It's 7.45. Um, my freaking desk thing is not cooperating right. I'm so confused what is going on. Anyways... Um, also look like a hot mess. Um, there is some stuff that I need to get done this morning before I head to the office. Um, it is 7.45 right now. I just need to get a candidate submitted over to a client. The only reason why I'm doing this right now is because there's a lot of other recruiters working on this same role. And when there's more people working on it, the less chance you have to like get candidates over because once there's so many candidates, the um, account manager just like pauses it. For like more submittals which is just like resumes getting over to like for the role so i want to i'm trying to check and see how many there are if it's even worth it but um i don't even know if this role is even taking any more resumes which is really frustrating because i really want to get this person over i don't even remember the client i was working on my head is just all over the place right now want to just i think i'm still gonna get this candidate over um just because i mean it's not gonna hurt sometimes they still send it um so yeah i'm gonna do this for probably the next 20 30 minutes and then shower get ready real quick i don't honestly have no idea what i'm gonna eat for lunch because what we made dinner last night it was salmon and i'm just like kind of weird about eating like leftover salmon I might just pick something up. I think I might order Jimmy John's in the office and just have it delivered. It's like, I'm not sure. And I also need to get something for breakfast, which I'm just going to try to find something here and then maybe just bring it with me. So yeah, kind of on a time crunch this morning. Um, sorry if this vlog is like all over the place. <laughs> I'm just like, my mind is all over the place right now, but going to work some and then shower, get ready to go to the office and to the office. Honestly, probably won't be there till like nine, which is fine. I'm honestly not worried, but yeah, wanted to hop on here, say that real quick, and talk to you later. 
guys so i do have a change of plans i'm actually not gonna go to the office um i really wanted to go i'm not gonna lie just to not be at my apartment but i'm actually fine like it's actually kind of nice <laughs> it being really quiet even though i miss my baby but i'll see him later um it's just like where my husband is taking my dog i didn't realize how far it was from my office i thought it was going to be a lot closer and he probably needs to be picked up around like maybe three. So at this point, there's really no point in going to the office for like four or five hours. And the place is actually close, a lot closer to my apartment. So yeah, so I'm actually not going to go. It's also so gloomy out. I think it's about to storm. And I just mentally just kind of want to honestly just stay home. I'm still going to shower and get ready. Just like put comfortable clothes on and eat and probably straighten up a little bit. So that's what we're doing today. I am going to go to the office soon like obviously not today soon but soon probably in the next couple of weeks just to get a different change of environment um and take you guys along as well just to kind of show you what a typical day like an office looks like for me it has changed a little bit since i'm the only person from my team who goes it probably would just be me and one other person but still kind of want to show you guys what that looks like fortunately it's not going to be this vlog i was going to make this just like an office vlog but i am changing it to just working from home it's still going to be everything the same it's just going to be at home rather than in the office and i'm still just going to make this one full day so that i would give you guys the update that i'm not going to go to the office anymore but still going to take you along with me through my work day I'm seriously having the hardest time staying awake right now. <sighs> also because it's pouring outside and it is so dark in my apartment and I'm just so tired. I swear I woke up like every two hours last night because one, I was getting up early and whenever I get up early, I feel like my body just kind of wakes up more frequently through the night. And then also I was just pretty anxious about my dog getting neutered today. I didn't really sleep the best and I got up at like, 5 25 no 5 30 yeah. i set two alarms just because i didn't want to obviously sleep through any of them so i set another one just to be on the safe side but i'm struggling right now i think i'm gonna make me some coffee because i'm seriously y'all i'm hitting a wall i cannot i cannot stay awake right now i'm so tired like my body just feels so tired and so exhausted like I, my eyes just look so tired i put my selfie light on which honestly i don't think it's helping just because it's so dark in my apartment um 
but I think I'm gonna take my walking pad out because I, whenever I move my body, I'm fine. Like I'm actually not tired. I have a call in the next 19 minutes and I don't wanna be walking while I'm talking to the candidate. So I think I'm gonna wait until after my call and then get on my walking pad and just kinda like grind my workout um, for a little bit and then probably get off. I might only walk maybe two miles. I wanted to run today, but it's pouring. So I might run inside, honestly, I don't know. I just need to move my body because I'm falling asleep at my desk right now. Yeah, I'm gonna make coffee right now and then hop on my phone call. I will actually record my phone call for you guys. I won't obviously record the whole thing because that will take forever, but I'll just record bits and pieces. I know a couple people actually liked seeing how I do my job. Obviously you can't hear the other person talking, it's just me, but it kind of give you an idea of what my position it typically looks like. So. Yeah, just wanted to say that, honestly, just wanted to tell you guys that I'm falling asleep. That's pretty much it. Only reason why I pull my camera out and start talking, if I'm not, if I'm being honest. <laughs> but let's go make coffee now. So I'm trying to call a candidate right now and it looks like the number isn't in service, but I think she might have sent me another number. So we will see. Hmm. Yeah, she never sent me another number and the number that she, that's listed on her resume is not in service. So I'm actually gonna let her know that the number I tried calling is not working to send me an updated number and then hopefully I can hop on the call with her. Okay, so she sent me over a new number, so I will be calling her right now. Hi, is this Michaela? Hey, Michaela, this is Selena. Yeah. For sure. No, I definitely understand. No worries. Um, and do you mind just kind of walking me through that position, what your day-to-day -day looked like, what you were doing there, all of that? Likewise, and I do wish you the best of luck as well in your job search and we'll for sure stay connected if I do get anything here soon. All right, you're welcome. Have a good one. Thanks, bye. She was so nice. I love talking to nice people. I have in the past talked, actually, it's actually pretty rare when I talk to people who are kind of mean. I talked to one guy, y'all, he literally only wanted to hop on a call with me to tell me how much he hates recruiters. It was actually so, I was like personally offended, but obviously he, I've never spoken with him one, two, um, he didn't even care to like get to know me, get to know any roles that I had. He only accepted like my request and wanted to hop on a call just to tell me how much he hates recruiters. So that was really hard. That's I've only had a call like that one time in my whole four years of four plus years of recruiting. Anyways, more of the story that call went really well. Unfortunately, the position just doesn't align with what she's thinking. And unfortunately, we do have too many candidates right now for the role, which I was going to tell her if she was interested, um, but she didn't end up being interested because it was just a shorter term contract. So it's a little bit how my calls, actually, that's honestly how all my calls go. 
obviously varies by each position with the questions that I ask, the conversations that we have but for the most part. It's just hopping on a 15, 20 minute phone call with the candidate, getting their information, telling them more about the role, um, what they're looking for, answer any questions you, not you, <laughs> I feel like I'm talking to a candidate right now, answer any questions they might have. There are times where I'm not able to answer candidates' questions, so I'll just try to gather further information for them or just keep those questions in mind for like the hiring manager if it's something that they're fine with waiting. Yeah, that's pretty much how my day goes when talking to candidates. I actually have another call scheduled as well for like a scrum master role. This one was for a sales reporting analyst role. My other calls for a senior scrum master. Um, and then I'm actually working on a QA position right now. It's like an entry level one with one of our clients. So hoping to get, that's actually whenever I work on, um, whenever I walk on my walking pad, I'm actually going to just source a bunch of candidates for that role and hopefully get a few calls scheduled before the end of the day. Um, I also need to take a lunch. It's already 1221. I think I might walk for third. No, I don't know. My brain is just everywhere. I think I might actually walk for 30 minutes and not work. Just take a break, watch a YouTube video and then source pretty hard and try to get a couple more calls scheduled before the end of the day. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed that though. And it kind of gives you an idea of how my job goes if you honestly even care. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. As you can see, I'm back with my fur baby. Um, I went and picked him up around, uh, th I had my last call at three, three, I think it was three, yes. I, and I was supposed to pick him up by 3.30. So I got there at like 3.45 because the traffic was a little bad and there was a horrible wreck. You can't tell he's really tired. He's a little sedated right now. Um, but also you're probably like, where is this cone? I actually took it off because he was trying to eat his food. He hasn't eaten for 24 hours. And I knew he was gonna be so hungry. Um, he couldn't eat it. He was trying and it just wasn't working. So I took it off and my husband's actually going to go to, um, PetSmart and get like a, it's like a bubble type one. That's just easier for them to use and still keeps him away from like looking at his stitches and stuff. But he's really tired right now. Um, but it just feels so good to have him home. It was pretty tough day but it ended up being fine it's a lot easier than i expected it to be i think because i was just so busy with work it's, it still was hard whenever i like wasn't doing anything i would just think about him i actually rewatched my youtube video that i posted today and i got so emotional whenever i saw him pop up and, and it was just like really hard i'm not gonna cry i feel like i'm getting emotional again because <laughs> i'm just an emotional person i'm actually gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i was gonna take the vlog until like I go to bed tonight, but honestly, I just like really want to just relax and spend time with him and my husband whenever he gets home and cook dinner, shower, and really just not like be on social media or on my phone. I honestly just want to spend time with Buck and my husband. So decided to just go ahead and end the vlog right here. Um, it is 4.56 right now. I still actually have some work I need to do. Probably do that tonight though before bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you do like, once again, like these kind of videos, definitely hit that subscribe button if you are new. And um, if you are returning, I'm so happy to have you back. And yeah, as always, I appreciate you guys so much and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye guys.